Hey guys, Coupons Provide here, and today I'm coming at you with a quick thrift store haul from Goodwill and Pennywise. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. I did decide to go into a Goodwill, and funny enough, <laughs> funny enough, I was watching a video this morning, and the Hearth and Hand Joanna Gaines commercial came on and she was like, you know, prepping a picnic basket and whatnot. And I was like, oh man, I used to have one of those a long time ago. It was blue and white. And I was like, I'm gonna go look for one. And I actually found a picnic basket. Like that is just too funny. So uh, long story short, I did stop into the Goodwill first and I scored. So Starting off, I found this really cute little basket with a handle. Now, I'm actually torn about the handle. I don't like it too much. So, if I can actually get it to separate and come apart, I will be taking the handle off and just have a really nice handle. You could even change it out for a leather strap if you wanted to or any other kind of handle. Not a big fan of this whole thing going on. So, I'm going to take that part off and just have it as a nice basket. So this one was $3.99. It was a little high price, but it's actually very well made. It's a really good size and it's really nice structure. There's no flaws to it. So I was like, okay, well that would be worth it. Just uh, change up the handle. So there is that. And then I found this awesome 100% cotton blanket and it is really pretty. It's made in India. And I thought this would be perfect to drape over the chairs in the study or in on the couch here. It's just a really gorgeous blanket and it's not too hot because you can see there's holes uh, because of the way that it's made. And I love blankets. I'm a year round blanket kind of person. And in this house, the fan blows like super hardcore over the couch and from the study. So having blankets is like necessary for me and people like me that like blankets year round. So I did get this one. It's a really pretty, pretty simple pattern. It's a nice cream color. You can see like the little like colors in the fabric. It's just really awesome. So I picked that one up and it is huge. Like when I lay it out and actually, I'll show you guys if I can just spread it out really quick over the floor because I haven't washed it yet. I'll just do that so you can see what uh, how big it is. So. There's that. That one was only $3.99, which is crazy. It's a gorgeous blanket. I was so happy with that price. And then I found this little wicker tray. It's really cute for 99 cents. Super simple. It's just a plate. Nothing fancy, but this is just a really pretty simple design. I do like the little square detailing in the center. I thought that was pretty cute. And it's a very big plate or tray or whatever. It's not small like the other ones that I have and that I've hauled recently. It's pretty nice size i'm like it, it's like a size of a charger plate okay so there's that and then i found these two gorgeous bebas they were 69 cents a piece check that out i love it and you guys know i'm into the whole tarnished look so these will most likely just stay just like this and they'll make beautiful little accent pieces on my table. So I picked up two of those, that's all they had. I wish they would have had more, it would have been nice, but I do like to mix and match pieces, so it's okay. And then what I actually went for. This is just crazy that it was like available and you know, ready to go. So awesome. So it actually came with the red picnic linen inside, which I might change in the future um, because I mean, that the red is really cute. That or I could add Ikea kitchen towels that are the red and like white and okay so I might keep it but we'll see and uh, it does come with little plastic dishes and I mean they're still in the wrapper and everything I might change these out oh yeah these are brand new I might change them out for maybe some nice thin metal dishes that would be really cute but that's like way down the road if I actually find a set so there is that. They have the little strap with the Velcro and then the little belt strap for the plates. It came with the two little umbrellas that you use to cover the food and they are like a little lace, lace fabric. It's really cute. So yeah, how funny is that? That I got exactly what I went in there for. And then it's got dark leather straps and then the little uh, hardware to lock it. And it was only $9.99. It's in really great condition. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, I thought it was just so awesome. Like that's what I went for. How cool was that? Okay, 
then that is pretty much it for Goodwill. Now let's go ahead and ju uh, jump right into Pennywise. So I found a bunch of baskets. Now they had a lot more that I really wanted, but they were like $3, $4. Sometimes you can really score and then sometimes it's like, what, why, you know? So I stuck to the $1-ish range. That being said, I picked up four more of these little uh, plate dishes, basket things where you put like your little plates as you're eating and stuff like that for like picnics or eating outdoors or whatever. But these are actually going to be wall decor. You know, everybody does the whole little plate, and not plate, but the basket wall and stuff like that, which actually looks really cute just like this. But um, some of them I'm going to paint just to make them more adorable. You can even take like a really thick yarn and just go through and do like a little stitch pattern. That would be adorable, wouldn't it? And then, um, so four of those was $1. Picked up four of them because they were a quarter a piece. You can see there that somewhat says 25 cents. And then I wanted to go for some different colors and these, I saw them, I was like, oh yes. They were sitting off in a random, like, like just stuff thrown into this basket and they were only $1 and they are gorgeous. They are a beautiful, 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 hard, dark brown basket. And I actually found two of them, which was awesome because I wanted coordinating or not coordinating, I wanted mix match colors, but I didn't want anything too cheesy. Like they had some with really bright orange, um, I don't know, bright orange and like black designs. I wasn't into that, I'm not about that life. So uh, I just wanted really cool variations of natural colors. And then the next one I got is this one. This one was 50 cents, really cute. Kind of like an, like, I don't know, like a light brown, ashy kind of look to it. Super simple, nothing crazy, but they had something similar to this and it was like three bucks. I was like, that's ridiculous. One is 50 cents and one is $3, not about that life. So I did pick up that one and then I found this one. Now this is actually a planter, it was only $1, but I want to hang some chains from here or maybe like do some kind of macrame kind of thing and have a nice big planter hanging with like a draping plant oh my goodness now if you are curious i actually my succulents look let me show you my succulents actually turned out very well they were they planted very nicely into the bowls that i put them into here's one of them this one is in the study and check out how vibrant they are they did so good they took so well in this bowl this was another, I think, Pennywise find, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see if we can find a price on it. <laughs> $1. Is that one or four? I think it's a one. Oh, that was heavy. Okay, so there's that. And then I have the other one in my King Dollar jar right here. And they did so good. So, so good. And then there's this one here. I did a haul of all my plants. Uh, in one of the vlogs and they're they're just they're loving it they're flourishing they're doing so well if you've been watching the vlogs for the house the house is coming together I'm so happy and then there's this one here and then and then there's this one take your robots too that's done so well Check it out. They're thriving. They're like standing up tall. This room gets, or the whole house gets a whole lot of like natural light. So it's really awesome. So I'm thinking about having a plant that kind of drapes out and hangs low like this. I did kind of transplant some into another pot. So I'm going to see how that one's growing. And if it's growing good at this point, then I know I'll be able to go ahead and stick some into this one. Now the one that I transplanted is actually over here right here and it seems to be doing just fine too i mean uh oh looks like one broke i bet you anything that was a dog anyway um this one seems to be doing just fine i just took it straight off the other plant and stuck it into some soil because they actually grow if you look here they grow their own little roots and start to like root themselves into the ground anyway long story short that's my plan for this basket because uh, I want it to kind of drape and hang real nice. So there is that. 
super simple, affordable haul of really pretty natural pieces, which will go so well together and just blend very nicely. Now, the great thing is we have an industrial rustic kind of style, which for us means mixed metals, woods, fabrics, stuff like that, that have an aged, worn, tattered look to them. That kind of stuff makes us happy. It makes us feel very at home and comfortable and cozy. Like it's, you know, we like things that have been loved on in our home. So there's that. Now, since I did spend more than $5, oh, this, um, this one, I thought, I'm gonna have to go back for this one um, because it was in the small bowls section. But when I looked at the sign, it said 50 cents. I thought this was gonna be 50 cents, but it was $5. And I was wondering, I didn't realize it at the time because I had something else in my hand, so I was thinking, okay, the number in my mind was $10. Well, wound up spending $10 even though I put that other thing back, which was a big basket. But I don't know. I don't know if I should keep it or not. I'm gonna have to think about it because five bucks is kind of pricey, but it is gorgeous and it does go with my other little stuff here. I don't know. I might see what we can do as far as exchanging it out or something. So there's that, but I did get this, Silent Warriors. Now they always have a free table and um, anything that they kind of collect and put towards the front of the store, they put on a free table. It's all miscellaneous, kind of mixed match stuff, just random stuff. They had a lot of books, but I saw this one. It is a novel by Richard Henrik, Silent Warriors. Only one submarine can stop a Russian nuclear first strike, yada, yada, yada. And I thought it was patriotic looking so I decided to go ahead and get this one to put it into my study area of my somewhat like history kind of section which is all here so we're gonna put that right there so cool guys I love this area it is so cool. So yeah. Alrighty, so that is pretty much it for my really quick Goodwill and Pennywise haul. I do hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And for the rest of you, hit that notification bell. Apparently, YouTube says that that thing works and lets you know when I post videos because I do get a lot of people that tell me that they didn't know I had videos out or They'll come and randomly comment on an old video talking about like where are my videos and I have been posting regularly even though we've been super busy so go ahead and hit that notification bell. You can follow me on my social medias and see a little bit more of our personal life on Instagram and my Facebook group at Coupons Provide and don't forget guys, keep couponing. Bye! Love. You're an artist.